close attention, all right? Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Regist Will you register it to the Compendium? I've completed registration. This is your progress so far. acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Ah. Please take a look. I too. Well then. Shall we take a look? Are you finished? We look for
finally here. We've been waiting for you. I wanted to tell you the good news as soon as possible. It's about a customer who came by earlier. Who do you think it was? Here's a hint. Signature. Wow, I'm impressed. I thought that hint might have been too vague. But yes, it was one of the organizers of the campaign to save the persimmon tree. He said, let's protect the tree together. He's already gathered a number of signatures from students who are in our son's class. Everyone's banding together to honor the memory of our son. He really was loved by many. Of course, he was our proud son. I'm sure he's just as happy as we are. All right, let's go to GeckoCon right now. I have to tell my son the good news. That's my boy. <laughs> Music to my ears. <laughs> I've never been so excited to go for a walk before. race to the persimmon tree. I won't lose, not even to a youngster like you. All right, dear, we'll be back. Thanks for watching the store.
way. I'm looking forward. Are you accepting a request? Most excellent. A shame. I will await a report of success, if I may say so. means I can sense a press I will await a report of success oh yes I will await a report of success come to think of it by all means come to think of it will await a report of success by all means I will await a report of success very well then good a shame very well then.
That enough appetizers? Excuse me, sir. Two bowls of the usual today. And as always, make sure one of them is extra large. Coming right up. Once you taste this, my friend, there is no going back. Ton, ton, ton noodles. Yes, that's three. Count them three tons. This is the crown jewel of the secret menu here. Even better than the Hagakure bowl. The simple salt-based broth complemented by the rich, spicy miso sauce. It's like a microcosm of the miracle of creation. It's all about that secret menu. Although... How will people find it if it's too secret? Eh, whatever. The harder I think about it, the hungrier I'm gonna get. Oh, sir! Don't toss out that first bowl, all right? That soup and I have unfinished business. This is a huge honor for you, you know? You're only the second person to taste this after me. Don't forget to blow on the noodles to cool them off. What a lucky guy you are. I mean, you get to be friends with me. And just so you know, you wouldn't be getting this with my younger brother. Because the Gourmet King's brother is not the Gourmet King. So, do you get me, hmm? Who am I? Go on, I want to hear it come out of your mouth. My word, not so loud! Are you trying to embarrass me? Here, have some of my boiled egg. I had a couple of bites, but it's still good. Uh, no more talking. The food's gonna be a chewy, flavorless mess if we don't eat up. Sir, sir, you save that first bowl, right? Cause I'm gonna be needing it. Welcome back. Hey. So, please, if you wanna go ahead, free to do whatever I'm showing on my bed. I'm out in my biz, so mind your own biz. Whatever life is, hmm. we go through.
go. Look. <sighs> In that case. I see. If you want to go. I was hoping to go for another run after rehydrating. I believe you've done enough physical activity for one day. Any more and you'll hurt yourself. Fine. So, were there any subjects you needed help with? Nothing beats using them in practice problems. Are you concerned about getting bored and losing focus? In that case, try a quick workout between problems. The brain perks up once you get the circulation flowing, not to mention. Looking forward to your next workout is a great way to stay motivated. In any case, I advise having a good workout ready to treat yourself with after a study session. It all comes down to making it a regular habit. Just a little each day really adds up. I wasn't going to say anything, but... Akihiko, working out isn't normally a reward for most people. On top of that, what good does it do to preach about long-term habits mere days before the exam? Hmm, I guess you have a point. In that case, how would you recommend cramming for it? It's not my usual style, but I would focus on memorizing material that is likely to be tested. If you give it your all, it shouldn't be too difficult. Easier than facing the enemy wholly unprepared, at least. Well, we can talk all night, but doing is where the magic happens. Here, let me give you some practice problems. You catch on quick. You immediately took what you learned and put it into practice. All you need now is some strength training and you'll be unstoppable. Once the exams are over, why don't we dive into Tartarus for a bit and get some workouts in? You never change. I'll need to continue keeping an eye on you to make sure you don't overdo it. <laughs> the more you study and the more you train, the better results you'll get. I look forward to seeing what you'll accomplish from here on. Let's call it here for today. I want to get some stretches in before heading to bed. Let's get on with today's lesson. Okay then.
Your mind? Thanks for coming. You got everything you need? Thanks. Hello? Yes! So for lunch, I had a melon pond, then a katsu sandwich. Then an agave pond, a kane pond, a yakisoba pond, apple strudel, another agave pond. But I gotta have my rice, too. Mm. Mm. I... I think that might have been... too many carbs. Today, a girl in my class asked me, Who's that cute guy you went to Umiyushi with? She wanted me to introduce you two so you could eat lunch together. Without me. Girls always go for guys like you. Or my little brother. I guess looks really are everything. But once we're dead, we'll all just be bones. You can't tell a handsome skeleton from an ugly one. Uh, not again! Why do my memories make me so damn hungry? Hey, waiter! Another tonkatsu special! While we wait for the food, let me share a little Senryu poem I wrote. He who cuts you is no friend, but he who cuts you, you flavor until the end. Huh? Oh. Oh! My... My stomach! Emergency! Whew. That was way too close. If that toilet was just a bit further away... Oh, boy. Don't you know who I am? I'm the Gourmet King. I can handle way more than any average stomach. In case you haven't noticed by now, I usually always have room for fried food. Ah! The Gourmet King shouldn't say things like that. I, I didn't mean to be so crass. I mean, who wants to talk about toilets while they're eating? Ah, I keep saying toilet. Sorry, sorry. Enough of that. Let's shovel that food down. We have to eat every chance we get. Because once we're dead, all we'll be eating is dust. You know, just like my little brother.
Fuka, your notes look so trendy. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh no, these are Natsuki-chan's notes. She let me borrow them since I was out trapped in Tartarus. <laughs> she sure is. That said, there's actually quite a bit missing from these notes. Oh, you're right. This part just has the equation and no answer. And this page is full of doodles. And this part... Uh, is that a drool stain? Hey, it may not be the best study material, but it's the thought that counts, right? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to think of a way to return the favor. Huh? Oh! Are you saying I should fill in any part she missed in her notes before giving them back? That sounds like a great idea! But it's going to be a lot of material. I wonder if I can finish it all. Then we'll help you out. It'll be a good review for us, too. <sighs> Thanks, you two. Here, let me see those notes. Oh... Yeah! Chan's in for a real surprise when she sees this. I'm sure she will. I couldn't have done it without your help. Thanks, you two. Well, it certainly helped us study too, right? I'll make sure to give Natsuki Chan the notes back tomorrow. Good night.
Oh my, dear. There's a mistake there. That's not how you write, Gekkocon. I know, I know. I hardly ever write it, so I just forgot how it looked for a second. I feel a little bad for all the people who've been campaigning to save the tree. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Uh, I'm writing a letter. Something I haven't done in ages. I'm used to the keyboard doing all the work for me. What, is that surprising? I'm actually quite the net surfer, you know. Oh, oh no, no, don't look. Oh, I'm shy. <laughs> we'll tell you when the time is right. Are you curious about the letter? Excited, perhaps? Even exhilarated? We are, too. We spend every day looking forward to the chance of seeing you again. Sometimes, you even make me feel smarter. Maybe I should just go back to school. Ah, just kidding. Said, uh, I hope we can wrap up the matter before your next visit. And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the seventh. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo-senpai something. Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now... I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Y yukari chan There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar. Doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. <sighs> I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right, I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. 
He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy! But ten years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident. And the experiment failed. They lost control of the Shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Maybe... that's why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Than those students who were hospitalized. It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Port Island must have been the perfect location for them. So yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? <laughs> and you knew too, didn't you, Sonata Senpai? You've both just been using us! Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair, but Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point! I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsuru, that's enough. Takebakun, it's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> it's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But now that they're here, we have the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? What if I told you that the Twelve Shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly. That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it, and this is where our true battle begins. Our true battle... Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. Hmm.